This is my KK Snyder mask. I'm going to use it to explain how I made my rover mask. Um, so I'm going to start with the base. Um, there are two layers. Uh, this is the first layer. The first layer fits over your head. I just use some foam so it's comfortable and it's padded. And I just use some wire in it to, uh, um, to, to help it keep its shape. And I just had it so when I put it over my head, the bottom of it um, goes down to about my ears or below my ears, somewhere around there. So it's easy to get on. Uh, and then the outer layer is this. I just used, uh, what's it called? Plastic canvas, plastic mesh. Um, so it's strong. And um, there's this hollow area in between, supported by wooden skewers. Um, and it holds the outer layer up. Um, and it's hollow, I made them hollow for multiple reasons. Uh, it's lighter, so it's more comfortable to wear. Um, it's also better ventilation. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, it is also... Less, did I say less heavy? It, maybe. Well, anyway, it's less heavy. Um, and it costs less because if you want it to be big, then you don't have to use as much foam. Um, and it's very important when you're at putting these on because it um, shapes the whole head. So, because, you know, when you put it over, then, yeah. But, um, and it's really hard to visualize when making it, at least for me the shape will look like because it's just a bunch of sticks sticking up but what really helped me was I just either put on some foam or fabric over it and it helped me to see what the final shape would look like and if I needed to change anything um and it's very that's a very important step uh, because when I was making Rover, I didn't know what I was doing, and the shape was completely off, so I had to keep adding foam, and it ended up using, I ended up using a lot of foam, and, um, it was just, it got heavier, it's still comfortable, but it gets hotter a lot quicker, I have to take it off every five minutes, probably, around because it's harder to breathe in, it gets really stuffy. Um, so, and it costs more because I had to buy a lot more foam. Um, so yeah, and with this one even, I still messed up on the base a little bit. I made it too wide this way. So here over, it's covered with green foam. So it's squishy. You can see it in there too. But here over, I just had to cover it with this fun foam uh, because otherwise it would be too, the foam is too thick and it, the shape would be off. And, um, yeah, so that's with the base, I guess. Um, yeah, oh, I still need to add the eye, <laughs> but I lost it. Oh no, I need to find it. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh. Oh, and the eyes, I see. Um, I just used buckram. Uh, what I get is called unicorn buckram. I don't know why. I like it though. Um, anyway, uh, and I'm not sure if buckram comes in black. All I've seen is white. So, I didn't use paint though because I was worried that it would clog it up. I'm not sure if it actually does, but just in case, I just used Sharpie. Um, and went over it, but you'll have to do multiple layers of Sharpie to get this black because it doesn't show up this black at first. You need to add five or so layers, however many need is needed, on front and back so that it's that dark. Um, yeah, and that's all I can think of right now. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, I hope this helps. I'm sorry if it didn't, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy.
the video. And uh, yeah.